Today's video is going to be a June favorites and I actually filmed like a pre favorites video from like up until June and then my lazy ass didn't edit it. So now this video is going to be like 6 million years long. I hope you're prepared. Let's jump in. <laughs> so the first thing I want to mention is the e.l.f. like lock on liner and brow cream this is in light brown and I use this to fill in my eyebrows because you guys may or may not know but I used the Anastasia one in taupe but obviously that's a little bit too light for my hair now so I had bought this when I still had the ombre and it was a bit too dark for me then so I was like you know what I'm gonna pull it out now and it matches like it doesn't match my hair color obviously but it works well with the darkness of my hair now. It's pretty much the same quality as the Anastasia one. Another brow product is the Essence Make Me Brow. This is pretty much a dupe for, and I just dropped it, a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow. It has like the fibers and everything. The brush is literally the same size. I have it on my eyebrows today because I wasn't, you know, it's kind of 10.30 something at night. Probably closer to 11 now. 10.37. 10.37 at night and I just really wanted to film so I did my makeup and I was like I don't want to do my eyebrows. Two eyeliners to mention. The first is the NYX Wonder Pencil. This is in light, I think. I use this as um, waterline eyeliner. It helps to brighten up the, the eyes and make you look awake. And then I also have another NYX product. This is the Retractable Eyeliner and this is in Golden Olive and y'all know how I feel about olive green. Last eye product is something that I've mentioned like 6,000 times on my channel. You're probably sick of seeing it but I'm gonna show it again because I'm absolutely obsessed with it and that's the Lorac Pro Palette. And we're gonna put it down. Now for lip products, I have like I have two different lines, but three colors from each that are like my favorites, so. Um, the first lip product I want to mention is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Liquid Lipsticks, whatever. Um, I have three shades. I love them all dearly. I have Tulips, which is like a dark purple. I have Panda, which is like a bright purpley pink. And then I have Marshmallow, which is like a pale purple and it's currently what I'm wearing on my lips right now And then alternatively I have the NYX liquid suede liquid lipsticks to mention clearly liquid lipsticks have been my shit I love them the formula of the ultra satin ones are really nice, too They're not transfer proof neither are the NYX ones, but they feel comfortable on the lips and they're not like they're not drying Like the ultra matte ones are those ones are very drying Anyways, I have vintage which is just like a nice burgundy color. I have sand wait this is Soft Spoken, which is just like a My Lips But Better color, and then Sandstorm, which is like a nude light brown, and they're all beautiful. The formula is 10 out of 10. Now for the bulk of this favorites video, face products. So I have two primers to mention. The first is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer. I hauled this recently. Um, this is just the clear one, and it's really nice. It's silicone based, so it feels like really smooth on the skin. It being summer and needing something to control shine, NYX Shine Killer Primer. This just works really well to control my shine and I really, really like it. Okay, I have two concealers to mention. The first is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I have mine in shade Natural and I'm cringing because I don't know where I'm gonna ever get this. I can probably just order it online, but I mean, it's so good. It covers so well and this color works really well for me under my eyes right now because I am getting slightly darker. And I have the NYX HD Concealer this is like literally rubbed all off. This is in CW03. I don't know what the color actually is for it, but it's whatever. It's more pink toned, so it like doesn't really match my skin, but it's light enough where like I can blend it in and it looks fine, like whatever. Um, but, but this is really similar to the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in formula and like pigmentation and stuff. So if you want a cheap dupe for that concealer, I mean, 
makes HD. Next product are the shade adjusting drops from the Body Shop. These are obviously the lightning ones. They do have darkening ones, but I've heard like I, the lady at the at the Body Shop told me that they were kind of like iffy and they made it really dark. But I got these because when summer first started and I was still super pale, my foundations didn't match me at all. So I picked these up because, I mean, $22 versus like the $50 I pay for my foundation. Um, yeah, uh, you just basically mix one drop in and you mix it in and then you dot it on your face and it makes it lighter. Didn't, it makes me look like not an Oompa Loompa. So two like under eye products, both of which I'm pretty sure I have favorited before, but, but the first is the Bare Minerals under, well, it's the Well Rusted Concealer. Um, the SPF 20 eye brightener. Oh, I'm really glad I didn't use this today because flash photography. But um, this is just really good to set under the eyes or use alone as an actual concealer. And I just, I forgot how much I love this. And similar story with this. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I use this to bake my face. 10 out of 10 would recommend, except for the fact that <laughs> Laura Mercier does an animal. This next product is probably like my favorite of the favorites. And it is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. First of all, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. And second of all, the product inside is amazing. It just kind of looks like a typical like matte bronzer, but it actually has like a very slight sheen. So it makes you look like really glowy, really tan, just like really nice. And it also smells like coconuts, like sunscreen. I, I just love the smell of it. It's like summer in a compact. Next product, if I had to choose a close second for like what I've been obsessed with the most this past month, it would be the Physician's Formula. I don't really know what the name of it is. It's just natural nude on it and it's like shimmer bricks. But I use this as a highlight. I have it on today for my highlight and my contour is like ridiculous, but like, am I complaining? Hell no. Um, but I use like the top two rows as highlighter. You can also use these as eyeshadows. I use them to highlight my brow bone and inner corner all the time. I use them as real eyeshadows. They are so good. Another highlighter that I want to mention is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone. This is the liquid version. They obviously have a powder version, but this is like the perfect highlighter for my winter skin tone. I'm obsessed with this. I would probably, probably even summer, like it would be popping. But this is just like, it's a yellowy based highlighter, which works well with me because I have yellow undertones and it's just wonderful. Last makeup product I have to mention, I'm, I know I've mentioned before as well as like the Lorac Pro Palette, but this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And this is just amazing. Oh shit, this is just, I almost dropped it again. This is just amazing. Now I have a couple of like beauty tools that I want to mention. Two brushes. The first is the Anastasia number 12. This is just this is a spoolie on the end and it's like an angled brush. This is so good. So good like I used to use like the random quo brushes and like eco tools brushes to apply my like brow pomade and stuff and then I use this and my life was forever changed so I will probably repurchase this brush until I die even though it is $25 <laughs> next brush is the elf powder brush and for some reason I love using this for bronzer I use it with ooh, blend up that contour honey it's this with the butter bronzer and it just it's perfect for it like I don't even I can't even. The last beauty tool I have to mention is the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. And this is $8. The Beauty Blender is $30. And they literally feel exactly the same. And they work exactly the same. Two skincare products to mention. The first is castor oil. And this probably seems like really strange. But I use this on my eyelashes and my eyebrows when I go to bed. And it helps just condition them and make them grow into stronger and thicker and nicer. And just... God bless castor oil. And the next thing is tea tree oil. And I use these on my, this, I use these, I use this on my blemishes. And it's just a nice natural way to get rid of acne. It's antibacterial and it works. One hair product to mention, it is the coconut milk anti-breakage serum from Organics. And I used to use this all the time, like, uh, like a year and a half ago, two years maybe. And I remember it being so good, like I was obsessed with it. But when I transitioned to cruelty free, I Googled if they were cruelty free and I came up on like a no they weren't and then i was in shoppers with my stepsister and she was like yo not tested on animals and i was like wait what so either my research was wrong or they changed their or they like changed their policy or they're lying either what i i really hope it's not the last one product i have to mention is perfume and i for i always forget to 
I always forget to put perfume on perp. This month I've just been wearing Vanilla Bean Noel. And I know it's not Christmas time, but you know, vanilla is good any time of the year. And apparently, boys really like the smell of vanilla. So, anyways, that concludes my June favorites video. I hope this wasn't incredibly. Practice safe sex, kids. Always wear condoms. I tested for STDs and STIs. Where's the fourth one? Always ask your partner about STDs and STIs. That's my rant for the night. Anyways, that concludes this favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it wasn't too long and probably I'm gonna cringe editing it, but it's fine. I will see you all in my next video. I'm so awkward. I hate myself. I am a joke. I am a joke. Please <laughs> do Okay, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!